Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, So Sweet Samuel. Today's the 31st of May and my name's Lindsay. I apologise, it's um, been rather quiet on my channel the last few days. I'm meant to be doing May vlogs and uh, you've not had a, a daily upload from me, I'm sorry to say. Um, lovely and sunny day here today. Yesterday it was very cold, hence why I'm sitting in a long sleeve top because I thought it was going to be cold again today. But it's nice and sunny today. Uh, if you hear any background noises, that's Samuel is over there. Uh, he's currently making a nice chocolate cake. He's preparing it and we're actually going to cook it tomorrow when I've got the oven turned on. I'm going to be making a lemon drizzle cake tomorrow. So he's just preparing his chocolate cake now and we'll turn that on and cook that tomorrow. Um, so I've got a few things I want to show you today. Uh, we went away at the weekend. So I've been busy crafting at the weekend and I've got a couple of purchases that I want to show you. I've got a nearly completed item, I've got one finished item, a nearly finished. Milo, stop! So my nearly finished. So you have seen my daffodil monster. This is how you saw her last. Milo, stop it. Um, I've realised... Have, oh, I need to stitch her leg on a bit more. I've realised now, having a look. Hello, can you see what you want, Samuel, please? Samuel. Yeah, I'm okay. Um, having had another look at the pattern, I've realised I shouldn't have stuffed her arms so much. I think I probably should have just had some stuffing in the, the hand part of her arms. I don't know if anyone can advise me of that. But I'd said to you I'd run out of yarn. Um, so I have now got the yarn and I've done her second leg. Oh, that doesn't look as long. It is as long. And I suppose once you've stuffed it, it sort of stretches out of it, doesn't it? It is the same length. So I've done her second leg, which I will stuff and sew on to her body. And I've done three petals. One, two, three petals. I'm in the process of oops, doing the fourth petal. So I've got two left to go and then I've got the trumpet to do. So I've really, really enjoyed doing her. And I feel more confident now. I think my tension still obviously needs a bit of work. Um, obviously I ran out of the green yarn, so I still need to do little bit of work but obviously it's small scale isn't it so I'm happy so I just need to attach that leg obviously I didn't secure that leg on there anywhere near tight enough because it's coming off it's not very good at all I was being stingy with my sewing on I think I'd really run out of green yarn so I'm really happy with her I think I maybe could have stuffed her head a bit more um so yeah two Two petals to go, so that petal should be finished definitely today if I carry on with that today. Um, and then on the flower front, I did, because I had to buy another ball of yarn, I then decided to treat myself to the book. And with the book, I got another free pattern, which was to make the cherries, crocheted and then a scarf which I think is knitted and then I also got this which is lovely I've got a little um, iron on patch um, which you can iron on or hand sew on so I think I'll find a nice bag my yarn came in a, a fabric bag so I think I'm going to iron these onto a fabric bag and then I've got the book said I wanted to have the book because this has got all the flowers in and this is absolutely beautiful it's really nice to see the flowers close up oh and this is where I saw it let me see if I can quickly find a daffodil I don't know if I can oh yeah there's a daffodil let's see I don't think no I don't think there's a picture of a daffodil yeah I don't know if you can see there the daffodil you can't really see but her arms are sort of not stuffed at the top or well, it's too late now because mine are but she's delightful so she's got the different color petals so it's something i will do again but the 
um, the uh, oh, the artwork in here is lovely as well. The photos, I love the sunflower. I think the sunflower is really pretty. I like sunflowers. Um, some of the bodies are quite different. Yeah, you can see there that the arms aren't stuffed at all in that one. Um, and the poppy. I really like the poppy. They're all beautiful in here and it's nice to actually see them sort of close up as well. They're all just so pretty. So definitely we'll be making some more of these and the carnation as well. So pretty. You could make them all and then when you have the real flowers, you could have these sitting with the real flowers, couldn't you? I love the lily. I, I do love lilies, but I have to be very careful. The pink stargazers really make me, really irritate my throat and my asthma. So these would be a nice alternative, wouldn't they? So yeah, you could make your favourite flowers and then have them out when you've got the actual real flower. The tulip, you can make a whole selection of tulips in all the different colours. I don't, I will never be making that though. I hate with a passion. And I'm sorry if this offends anybody. I can't stand hyacinths. They just make me feel ill, the smell of them. I call them high stinks. They just, the smell of them just makes me feel physically sick. So that'll be one I never make. Um, but they are all just beautiful, so clever. Really, really clever. So, yeah, really delighted with that. Um, so I hope they'll get my daffodil finished quite quickly. Uh, on the crocheting front as well, while we were away, so we were away in the caravan, so you will see my, um, uh, my thumbnail um, is a picture of us holding baby Rupert. Yes. So we were away. I've done a one-handed egg crack. Well done. I've never done that. While we were away this weekend, we stayed up in Suffolk near where Megan and her partner live. And they came and spent the afternoon and evening with us on Saturday with uh, Rupert and um, their older son, Kai. And I started crocheting this camper van. So I haven't done very much and it's probably not perfect, but I've done, whoops, it's alive. I've done the top of the camper van. Oops. I'm just doing this out of cotton. It's not perfect, but it's fine. It's just going to go in our caravan. We don't have a camper van. We have a, a touring caravan. I know it's not perfect because that side, I don't think I've picked up as many stitches. That side look, definitely looks neater <laughs> than that side. But I'm just going to go with it. I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to unpick it. I'm just going to go with it. It's a practice. I know you're filming me, but could you possibly open that? Yes. I don't see a hello. There's Sammy off making his chocolate cake. Because I've got the drip drip in my bottle was only 20. Okay. So I hope to carry on with that. So I'm now just coming down the sides through the windows and then I'm going to do the chassis of mine in like a turquoise blue. Continuing the crocheting. So I have a real crochet bug at the moment. I'm loving it. So you remember I got this book out of a charity shop, brand new book and I paid five pounds for this book and it should be 13 pounds and I paid five pounds for this book. And it's called Sweet Pea Crochet. Um, there's lovely patterns in here. I want to make this. A friend of mine, her son is having a baby and I want to make this little um, sweet baby bear comforter. So it's just a, a granny square with a little magaroony head. So you make the head first, then you make the granny square, then you attach the head to the granny square. So they don't know what they're having. So I just picked up two balls of this cream, it's called vanilla cream, and two balls of this purple, which is called smoky purple. So I think I'm gonna make the head in the cream 
and then the granny square in cream and purple so i think that'd be really cute yes put some back because i mean it would be too much and then when i was flicking through here i also um there's loads of things in here so i might do some other things but i won't make clothing because i'm not good enough for that yet but i also like um i also really like this little blanket as well it's like a little pram blanket so i might do that see how i get on push chair blanket i think that one is push chair blanket so might go with that but there's some lovely lovely things in there and I definitely want to make a little toy. So I think I might make a little amigurumi dog. But I do like this little teddy bear as well. So that I could probably make that in the cream as well. To match the um, the header I make. Either in the cream or in the purple. Maybe in the purple. Or in the cream. Probably the cream actually might be better, might not it? Because that would be really cute. It says one ball. This is just cotton. This is 100% cotton. says you need 50 grams these are 100 gram balls one ball oh one yeah one ball of that 50 grams for that little teddy bear so i might make that and i know i'm going to make a little dog or something because they have got a dog so that's next to make the little um little comforter and then I decided I was making my little sister's romper and I decided I really didn't want to play the yarn chicken with that because I really thought I'm going to run out of yarn um, without a shadow of a doubt. I'm going to run out of yarn. So before we went away on Friday, I found a ball of four ply, just commercial yarn in my stash and i dug that out and i cast on now did i cast this on oh no i cast this on on saturday when we were there when we were away so i knitted something else in the car so <clears throat> on saturday when we were there <coughs> i recasted on the little romper just in four ply cream because as i said they don't know what they're having so this is for a different this is for the friend i'm making the um, the little crochet comforter for because they don't know what they're having so this is in age four to six months and this is lovely so this is my little sister's romper by petite knits and this goes from zero to i believe 24 months so um when you do the rib the garter rib here you then knit i've got to knit for 23 centimeters and then i work on the front on its own then i work on the back on its own and then i i don't know what i do then i can't remember now i'm gonna do for your lovely viewers i'm gonna hand whisk it all oh, right okay well i won't be long and then I won't you, make any noise. okay and then you can put it on the food mixer in a minute okay i've got 28 grams of chocolate spread. Okay, take it off of there though and put it on a tea towel so it doesn't move around, okay? Stand the dish on the tea towel and then when I finish you can have the electric mixer. Good boy. Um, so I've got a few more rounds to go and then I'll be doing the front and back separately. But that's really cute. And then I'm going to find a nice ball of hand dyed blue because I'm going to make it for a friend who is having a baby boy. Um, but a, a 100 gram ball, so I'm not playing yarn chicken. And then with the blue I was using, I might pull that apart and um, make a little hat or something for my friend who's having the boy. Uh, in the car going up, I think I said to you last week, I realised I hadn't finished my penny mitts. Let's put these on if I can. I finished my penny mitts in the car going up on sun on friday what should have been an hour and a half two hour journey ended up being oh that's not very good i've got a hole oh dear i have to do a bit of um sewing up ended up being a three hour journey um and i have some penny mitts which are really nice nice simple knit um Again, this is a petite knit pattern. 
I've knit this out of my Wool is the Auntie yarn. Uh, it's my coronation soon. It was the coronation yarn. How Just smooth is it? Like really smooth. So you'll have to put it in the food mixer in a minute. Just give me 10 more minutes okay. and then you can have it, okay? Can I show you your lovely In a minute. It's coming now to show you the cake. Samuel's chocolate cake. Okay. It's quite smooth. It is, but keep mixing it because it needs to be really smooth. Or just keep going, you might not need to. So these are my penny mitts. So I just need to, I've realised I've got a bit of a ladder there, so I just need to have a bit of a, a bit of surgery going on. Um, but I think these will be really good in the winter, not to wear out necessarily, um, because I have to wear thermal gloves because of my arthritis. But definitely for around the house, if we're still in the same heating crisis we were in this winter, um, they'll be ideal that I can still sew and craft and do things, but my hands and wrists will stay warm. Uh, my mum has always said, you know, if your wrists are warm, then that keeps the rest of you warm, and that definitely is true. My friend Kay brought me some wrist warmers a couple of years ago, and when I was in school during the pandemic and we had to have all the doors and windows open, I was wearing my wrist warmers all the time and I was able to type, but they came down a lot further so I didn't have as much freedom in my fingers. But um, these are ideal. I can still do what I need to do um, in the house next winter. So that's those done. So I just need to do a bit of surgery on those and sewing some ends so that's done i can see me making some more of those and then when i finished that i then in the car i decided to cast on a very teeny tiny tinsy wincy teeny weeny tiny tiny pair of socks and i'm already on the hill because these are going to be teeny tiny short socks so this is using again um wool is the answer so my penny gloves were from Wool is the Answer, which is a lovely dyer in the UK. And we bake, we cake, and you make. They cake it all up for you as well, which is lovely. And I've just started uh, just a simple vanilla sock. So that's all my makes. So um, obviously May vlogs have ended. I didn't do very well because I didn't uh, vlog every day. Obviously with a young child, um, health issues, a home to run i couldn't really vlog every day it wasn't always possible you didn't always want to see me in my pajamas um vlogging um sometimes i didn't have a lot to show you i don't understand how to oh chocolate cake is it nice oh sorry oh, i'm wanting you to try it it's really nice it's really nice oh very nice okay put that in the fridge then samuel Double check you've got all the ingredients in there. Well done. It's the nicest chocolate cake ever. Plus 28 grams of chocolate spread. Mm, secret ingredient. Okay. I'm going to get this. Leave that in there because we'll give it another whisk tomorrow before we put it, it in the fridge. It's really smooth for a ham whisk. Good boy. Um, yeah, and I don't know how to sort of video bits and piece it all together. I probably do know how, but I like to do a video and get it straight up onto YouTube. Lazy. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. So hopefully I'm going to get quite a bit done over the next few days. And hopefully I'll come back to you at some point next week. Hopefully I'll get back into weekly vlogs again, letting you know what I'm doing. My next video, I will definitely show you the giveaway. I've got to think about how I'm going to do the giveaway, whether it will just be a number generator. Um, I'll probably do that, probably be the easiest thing to do. You can leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed, leave a comment. What's going to be the giveaway? Oh, it's a Lunar Lapping book on the side. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so you're leave a comment with a number and then I will just do a random number generator and we'll pick your name at random and see who the winner is. Can I pick a number? If you tell me like, say there's like 300 numbers, yeah. for example, 
I'll say number 297. Okay, yeah, Absolutely. and then we'll have to see who that is. I'll have to have a look on my laptop and find from that video, won't I? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. We can do it live. So then. comment on this video. Not on this video, oh. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, when I do the next video. Oh, you're commenting yeah. on the next video. Yeah, and then you can pick it live on the next video, okay? Yeah, I'll pick it live. So, okay. so you'll be filming not... So no, not next week sometime, so you can be involved. So it's okay? going to be a weekend. Yeah, so. okay. Okay, so next time I do a video on the weekend, Samuel can be here. We can do the no, giveaway. Yeah, week, don't worry. You need to comment. Okay. And the week after's for giveaway. Yeah, Samuel will organise me. Okay, so uh, I've had lots of new subscribers, so thank you very much for joining me on my crafty journey. Uh, thank you if you've fallen down any rabbit holes with me. I don't think I've fallen down any new rabbit holes this week. I think I've been quite good. Nearly fell down a rabbit hole on Sunday. Was it Monday? I was watching Sewing Street. I nearly fell down a rabbit hole then. But I didn't have Wi-Fi signal, so I couldn't fall down that rabbit hole. I'm still down the crocheting rabbit hole, which I'm enjoying. Lots of you are down there with me. Holly Dolly's going to be getting some love this weekend. And uh, my daffodil is going to get some love. But for now, I need to go and prepare dinner. Samuel's going to wash up. Oh, there's nothing to wash up, is there, actually? No, nothing that was to good. Okay. Only a few spoons. Okay, but put them in the dishwasher. We'll put them in the dishwasher. No, I'll leave Dad and Ryan to do that. Mm. Okay, so I'll leave you for now. Let me know what you're working on. And I'll chat to you very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.